Hi thinkers, welcome to ThinkX Academy. In this artificial intelligence playlist, we have already covered some of the terminologies like what is an agent, what is uh, what are sensors, actuators, and we now have a good idea of how an agent interacts with an environment. Now in this tutorial, we are going to study the good behavior or the concept of rationality in an agent, right? So the basic idea is that in artificial intelligence, whatever AI agent we are developing, we want that agent to work as per the desired actions, right? And those desired actions makes the agent as a rational agent and it is counted as a good behavior. So whenever, uh, so basically you can say that it is our objective to make an AI agent a, a, a rational agent or you can say it should work as per the desired actions. So we will discuss this now. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe my channel to support me and like this video. So let's get started. So first of all, the concept of rationality depends on these four measures. The first one is the performance measure, which we will discuss in brief here. The second one is the agent's prior knowledge. And we know that agent gathers the knowledge from the environment. So basically, agent's prior knowledge comes from the environment. Actions that agent can perform. This is the third dependency. And we know that a, an agent will perform some actions by actuators. The fourth one is the agent's percept sequence. And the percept sequence is basically the history of what the agent has perceived from the environment. And we know that it comes from the sensors. So all these four points, we can write them as P's. P-E-A-S. P means performance measure. E means environment. A means actuators. And S means sensors. Collectively, we call all of these dependencies as the task environment. We will discuss about the properties of task environment in the further coming tutorials. Now let's discuss the first one, which is the performance measure. So we can basically say that if an agent follows these four rules, we can say that it is a rational agent. So let's discuss what is performance measure. So let's suppose we have some AI agent. Let's say take an example of a self-driving car. Now agent in here is can be a program or a software that can actually perceive the environment. Now let's say the environment has some state S, right? So the environment can be in some state also. So now the agent will use its sensor to perceive the environment and then using actuators, it will perform the actions. So agent takes, uh, will just perceive the environment and perform some actions. After performing some actions on the environment, it will make some changes in the environment. In case of uh, the self-driving car, the agent, AI agent will have to perform actions like when to apply the braking system or when to move or change the lanes and when to stop and when to start. These are the actions that it will take from the environment and this makes the environment changes from state S to some variety of states that I've written here S dash, S double dash, S triple dash and so on, right? So it is a sequence of changes in the environment by the agent. Now, if these changes in the environment are desired actions or the desired changes that I really wanted the AI agent to make, right? So this is known as the notion of desirability, right? So this basically just means that wherever you are making some changes, if they, these are the desired changes, we call it as the notion of desirability. And this notion of desirability 
determines the performance measure of the AI agent. And now you can see we have defined here what is a rational agent. A rational agent for each possible percept sequence, we know that percept sequence comes from the history of the uh, agent which it has perceived before. So for all the possible sequences that we have, a rational agent, right, not just agent, a rational agent should select an action that is expected to maximize its performance measure. Maximizing performance measure just basically means you are maximizing the notion of desirability which means you are actually performing the desired actions given percept sequence where percept given percept sequence means the prior knowledge and you can see I've written here prior knowledge, right? So basically percept sequence is the sensors and we have the prior knowledge. So then, then we can call it as a rational agent. So that's the whole concept of rationality. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.